Anyway, we're in Maya 2024. I'm gonna drop in a cube and I'm gonna show you a way to be precise with your edge loops. So we know that under mesh tools, we compress these little dots right there. That'll rip off this window. We've got insert edge loop. Let's say we need some holding edges. We can come in here, can eyeball it. Mm, not great, not great. We could press the option box. We could set this to multiple edge loops. Let's do two. Okay, now we have two there. We can press R to scale. That's better. That ain't too bad. Do it again, insert edge loop. Do two this way, kind of scale. But at this point, we're just eyeballing uh, uh, this gap and this gap because I wasn't precise with my scaling. But let me show you a better way. We don't need this anymore. We're actually gonna use multi-cut to accomplish this. A multi-cut typically works by you starting on a vertex or an edge, and we can do whatever we want with this sucker. When we're all done, we end at a vertex text or an edge press enter but that's not how we're going to use it today so i'm going to click multi-cut and scroll down we have this snap step percentage and i'm going to keep this at 10 look what happens if i hold control holding control with multi-cut out is going to do an edge loop which is awesome and you'll see that yellow percentage and then if i hold shift i can snap two percentages so if i just want the midpoint 50 percent right there in between this edge and this edge but let's say I wanted to do 90% right there. So that's 10% from left to right. Hold control and shift. There's 10% over there. Awesome. 90% there. 10% down there. We're almost done with this guy. 10%, 10%. So very, very quickly, I have complete control of my holding edges. And all of these are spaced appropriately. So we can change this to whatever we want to get the most control out of our edge loops. 